how to set up a automated to-do list on monday.com step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your own automated to-do list on monday.com. So let's get into it. Now, I'm going to start off by creating a new board and I'm just going to name this to-do list. And I'm going to show you guys step-by-step step on how you can begin creating your own automated list. Now, first off, I'm going to change the first group title, which will be to-do or tasks. And then second off, I'm going to create the second section, which is going to be priority. And then after that, I'm going to click on add new group. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this completed like this. So first, you're just going to create your three basic little sections over here. And then I'm going to remove these pre-made tasks over here. I'm just going to delete these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, first off, I'm going to remove all of these excess tasks because I want to show you guys how to do it yourself. And I'm just going to delete this. It's nothing fancy. It's a very simple process and you don't have to worry about it. Just follow along with me and you will easily be able to create your own automated to-do list. Now, once you have done that, you can see you have the person, the assignee, the status, and the date. So you don't have to add anything else. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the status and you're just going to take a look at all the labels and what's done so let's say i want to create like a simple task which will be um send emails now you can see my task is being created now what you're going to do is you're going to click on statuses over here and then you're going to click on edit labels and you're going to edit this label to priority and then you're going to change the color i'm going to change it to purple or i'm going to delete this this over here and add this as priority so I'm just matching the color of the groups with the statuses. And then I'm just going to have unassigned or just new task. And then I have done. So I'm just going to create these three basic labels, new tasks, priority, and done. And once you have done that, what you're going to do is you're going to start creating your automations within monday.com. So how you're going to do that is you're going to click on workflow center on the top right over here. And then you're going to add your automation. So we're just going to click on start from scratch over here. And then you're going to add your automation. So when a person is assigned, so or when an item is created, that is another way you can do this. So when an item is created, and only if the person is assigned to me, then the status will be changed to priority. And then I'm going to add another automation. And then you're going to click on more options. And then I'm going to click on push due date by two days or by seven days. So let's say if the time period for you to complete a task is going to be within a week. So you can set it to seven days. And I'm just going to set this. And I'm going to click on create automation. And I'm just going to read this for you guys again so you guys can better understand it. So whenever a task would be created and I would be assigned to the task, the status would be set automatically to priority and the date would be pushed by seven days. So I would have seven days to complete this task. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to add another automation, which will be that whenever some status is changed to priority, it is moved to the group priority. So you're going to click on start from scratch. So when the status changes to to priority then move the item to the group priority and then you're going to click on create automation and now you have your second automation live and now you're going to add a couple of more automations don't worry they're very simple and you just have to follow exactly what i did to have it automated just like i will so you're just going to click on add new start from scratch and then you're going to add when a date arrives then you want to notify yourself and send an email to myself as well or you know you can just have a simple notification like hey due date is here and it's important like this and then you can also add more detail to your automation but i find that this is like good enough because if you want you can add gmails and stuff but i don't find them very effective i find um, monday.com notifications are pretty nice when i'm using them so i find just adding a simple notification works well so you can see now once i assign myself as the person and the status is changed to priority so we're just going to refresh this over here. You can see once I refreshed it, you saw it move down to the actual priority section. And let's say I set a due date. So the due date is going to be 14th. Or let's say I'll create like a new task, which would be um, uh, take emails to 
um, boss. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this as a due date of 24th. And now once I assign myself as the person, so we're just going to wait a second. And then I change this to priority. Now you can see over here, it automatically jumps to the priority section. And when the due date will actually arrive, this will automatically send me a notification. And then you can also add another automation in which you can add a simple automation like uh, when the due date arrives, it should be moved like uh, one day after the due date. So we're going to add more options. And then when the date has passed, then move item to the group completed. And now I'm just going to create automation. So for any task for which the date has passed, the automation will send it automatically into the completed group. So obviously you're going by the assumption that you're going to finish your tasks on time. So we're just going to add this like so. And then you also have labels, like you can label it done as well. So you can create another automation, click on start from scratch. And when the status changes to done, then move item to the group complete it and then you're going to click on create automation so whenever i finish a task i can just change it to done and then this would automatically be moved down into the completed section and just like that i have a very simple and easy automated uh, to-do list on monday.com now although this is a fantastic way to automate your to-do list and automate your entire workflow process it is not available for free because um, you can see over here the free version of monday.com does not support automations and what we're doing over here is basically automation so you cannot create automations on the free version of monday.com for that you have to go to the $10 per seat per month versions uh, and for this you will get 250 automations and 250 integrations and you also have calendar view guest access Gantt views and timeline views and you don't even get automations on the basic $8 version of monday.com and in most situations I wouldn't recommend the basic version I find that the standard version is a lot better you're going to be getting a lot more value for your money on the standard version so if you are looking to upgrade your monday.com project management software then upgrade directly to the standard version instead of going Going for the eight dollar basic version and saving two dollars and not getting enough value for your money so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own automated to-do list on monday.com they do provide you with a 14-day free trial for any of these premium paid plans so if you want to check those out you can do that as well just to see if you like the overall aesthetic or feel or the overall setup of these project management softwares so you can just check those 14-day free trials out and then choose the best option for you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions regarding automation on monday.com or any questions regarding monday.com leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video